In this uh, video tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create your own GIF animation using uh, the new Puppet Orb feature in Photoshop CS5. And in this case, we're going to create this bobbing head turtle GIF animation. So I have the image opened up here, and I'm going to double click on the background layer. Just going to click on OK. First thing I want to do is isolate the foreground subject from its background. I think in this case, the easiest thing to do would be use the uh, Magic Wand tool. I'm going to make sure that the Add to Selection icon is clicked on. And I'm just going to bump up the tolerance to about uh, 30, 33 is fine. So the easiest thing to do would be to click on the background, since it's, it's a nice uh, continuous color. And you can see it did a pretty good selection. I'm going to click on Control plus to zoom in a few times here. I'm going to click on the spacebar to pan. And I'm just going to add this white part that I forgot to do to my selection. I'm going to decrease the tolerance to, let's say, about uh, 4 is good. I'm going to click on the white, and perfect. I'm going to click on Control 0 to take me back 200%. And so now we have the background selected. I'm going to click on Select Inverse to inverse the selection and select only the turtle. I'm going to right click and layer via cut. And now as you see we have the foreground turtle subject on its own layer and we have the background layer. I'm going to highlight the background layer and I'm going to click on the paint bucket tool and I'll make sure white is in the foreground. I'm just going to remove this layer and I'll click a few times to make sure that it becomes entirely white like that. Perfect. Okay, so this uh, frame, this is going to be the first frame of our animation. I'm going to click on Control J to duplicate that, and now we're going to work on the second frame. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Edit and Puppet Warp, and I'm going to start transforming this uh, subject. I'm going to click on. Uh, I'm going to add a few points here on the base of the turtle. And I'll add a few more here just to make sure that it does not move, like so. And I'll click on the forehead to add one point. And then if you hover over the puppet warp point that you've added, you'll see it turns into a selection arrow. And then I'm just going to click and drag, like so. Then once I'm finished, I'll click on the arrow to accept that change. And you can see the first selection that we've made, like so. Perfect. Then I'm going to go back to the original layer. I'm going to click on Control J. And I'm just going to move this up on top to our layer stack. And you can see how the animation is starting to take fold. I'm going to click and make a, uh, a duplicate of this layer, and move, we'll move it upwards, like so. And this is uh, the basics of animation. You can you know, add more puppet points, you can animate the legs, etc. But I think for demonstration purposes, this is uh, good enough. Next, I'm going to click on the top layer. I'm going to click on Shift and highlight all the layers. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, go into uh, my window menu and click on animation. Okay. Once that's done, I'm going to click on the little arrow here and I'm going to click on make frames from layers. And then I'm going to highlight the background layer and I'm going to go ahead and in the fly out menu once again and I'm going to click on match layers layer across frames. Click OK. So now we have that white background that's been matched to all the layers and we won't be needing this one anymore. We'll just click and drag it to the trash can here. Then what you can do is just uh, change the uh, time delay between each frame. I'm just going to change it to 0 0.2 seconds here. And then I'm going to click on the first layer and I'm going to click on play and you'll see our animation. Pretty simple. Now to save this, I'm going to click on File, Save for Web and Devices, and make sure that GIFT is selected. Uh, colors, we're at our maximum, and I'm going to click on Save, and we'll just name this Turtle 
animation and click on save let's check it out perfect so this is the basic concept behind using pepper warp in order to create a gif animation it is a very very simple one but i think it gives you the technique needed in order to try out your own projects tutorial.com <laughs>